morning, guys. We're going to our house to pack up rubbish so that. Simply put a handful on the plate. I don't know. He looks like he just came back from an event. <laughs> just work up um so the roof tiles did their work and they left all the rubbish there obviously we had to clean it um they worked half day yesterday which is saturday and they will be coming back on monday oh monday thursday yeah takes time oh well whatever so today will be the first time I'm going in the house with the roof on. <laughs> massive bro. It's massive bro. I still don't think it's that big because since I'm not a builder, I can't really <laughs> imagine it. And we're going there like every week. <laughs> Why do you go every week? Yeah. Oh, I, I did. Hey, if, if, if they're the builder builds a house and you don't go until it's finished, then you like it. Surprise you. No, but you have to go, even if it's through a company or whatever, because obviously you want to look. But you're not, by law, you're not allowed in. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, but people go in anyway. Yeah. Well, if you hurt yourself, then it's your problem. It's not their problem, true? I didn't know our bricks look like that. I'm sorry? So I didn't know our bricks look like that. You didn't know our bricks look like that? I thought it was the flat one. You went to pick it, babe. Oh, I better clean all those rubbish on his name. Don't. He'll be puss. And we're here. Uh -huh. Babe, are you going to lock the car? The bag's in the car. And the window's down. What do you mean by it, you thought it looks flat? Oh, you mean our tiles? No, 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 it's not flat. So one of our clients opened a coffee shop. His name is Ejin. Morning. I finally found you. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm not in your yard. So, how are you doing? Sorry. How are you doing? Yeah. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. You guys can sit down. Very short, mate. Guys, so we are going to go walk to Coles. Wait for me. Hi, Nicholas. That was our neighbors. finished shopping at Coles and Darren the lady lazy ass won't pick us up so we have to push the trolley home with all the food and the kids. When Derek goes to work tomorrow we'll, or whenever he goes to work I'll tell him to push the trolley back. So I'm gonna try to go through the back door. Scare Darren. Coles Hall, welcome. So we brought creamy frozen yogurt snack bars and strawberry and vanilla bean flavor. Strawberry smoothie. Zero. Full cream milk. Water. Fairy dishing washing liquid in lemon, apple black carrot juice, 
orange and mango juice. <laughs> Still trying to open this. We got tropical punch <laughs> juice, Paul's bread, white toast, sunshine punch juice, silver lined gloves from Paul's, Bolivian, cucumbers, mayonnaise. We always eat in our sandwiches. And that's all. He's been trying to cook his pork belly. Experimenting, guys, experimenting. And he's making me eating all these experimenting. It's better. So today we're making um, rice paper rolls, but there's like heaps of different types. So we're making um, beef today, it's called bao jingbo. And some of the ingredients are beef, of course. Mum nam, it's a sauce. Lettuce, cucumber, bung. Rice paper rolls, I mean rice paper and butter. We just picked any type of butter and onion. And I'll we'll just show you the layout of dinner today because my parents is coming to eat. Yeah, look at these three little kids. Thanks for making dinner. Morning, guys. Just woke up. Just cooked the. Breakfast is what I made. Two pieces of toast, three eggs, two bacon, and a few slices of uh, salami or pepperoni or whatever you want to call it. So these are my breakfast for the morning and just doing some editing. What's happening guys? It's Friday. Got a got a team dinner, work team dinner. The company that I used to work for, we were we had a team and we got we grew pretty close to each other. And yeah, one of the one of the tradesmen organized a dinner in the city at his friend's um, restaurant and bar. Before I go there, I'm gonna uh, swing by the, the land and see see what's up, because Michael, my brother-in-law, he's done a few things to it, so I just suss it out. Should be good, dinner should be good. It's good to catch up with the boys, since I don't work uh, for their company anymore. I work for myself and I'm just, doing a few jobs here and there and yeah it'll be good to catch up some of them three of them went to my wedding and the other three they were busy or they were they already made plans prior to me inviting him so yeah I'm probably talking a bit funny because I'm wearing my retainers I haven't wore them in like two weeks or more <laughs> so I just put them on just to get the teeth moved back to the original position. Kills. It hurts. It only hurts for about a few minutes and then after that it gets it gets settled in and doesn't hurt anymore. But yeah, you should wear them like every night or every few days. I get I get a bit lazy. What do what do you guys usually do? Friday after work, do you guys go out with your mates, have a few beers, or you stay at home, just chill because you got work the next day? What do you guys do? I I rarely go out to work all week and just on the weekend I just like to chill, laser out. Another good news, my visa got accepted to go to China for work and Monday I'll be picking up my passport, so that'll be good and after after that I can book my flights next week. I know it's a bit last minute, but what do you do? My employer didn't have the dates to go, so yeah. Took all my tools home today, because next week I won't be going back to work. I'll be, I'm gonna have to do whatever I need to do before I leave for China, because I'll be coming back just before Christmas, and I'll probably leave Australia on Wednesday. Look at, look at this junk, I gotta clean all this on the weekend. This is our butler's pantry. This will get an external sliding door, so be, the fittings will be hung outside.
Here's our living area. This area here is gonna be our fireplace. Down there, there's gonna be cupboards. And up here will be a TV or a projector. Starting to look good. Let's go to dinner. Starving. At work, I only have one break. So start at seven and you're supposed to finish at 3.30 and you have two breaks. You have smoker and you have lunch. But the way that we work is you start at seven, you have one break. You can choose your break whenever. Uh, usually between 10 to 11.30, you have one break and you leave at three o'clock. But that also depends on your employer they want you to do that or not. If not, then you just work at seven, you have a 15, 20 minute smoko, then you have another half an hour lunch, and then you get home at 3.30. To me, it depends on your the, the, the job site that you work. I just got here, guys. Just found a car park too. Got a loading zone, so that's good. Loading zone finished at 7.30. Got here at 7.24. I have a four wheel drive, so it's a utility, so I can park in a loading zone for whatever, whatever how many minutes it says. Here it says 15, so that's well past the limit anyway. So let's get going to the restaurant. Just at the land, and I'm just having a bit of lunch. Got my hummus dip, cucumber and yogurt dip, lamb, and just salad and bread. After I eat, gonna clean, clean the side up. Just chuck away the unnecessary timber. There's a pile of bloody smashed roof tiles. I gotta get rid of as well. Uh, you rather you rather clean it while you're while you go instead of cleaning it at the end of the job, and then you've got like a massive sum. And so I'm gonna eat. I'm pretty sick. Love this place. I got this at Roxy Kebabs in Deer Park. Always. Sick. Good quality. None of that processed processed meat. The kebabs you get, it's like, wow, oh, it's, it's massive, man. I chucked my first load, went to get something to just grab a bike. I bought cone, cone from Hunger Jack. Way better than Macca's. I never get cone from Macca's anymore. It's at 50 cents, but look at it. I top it up real good, and it's full creamy. It takes me ages to finish compared to the Macca's. And I got a frozen sherbet and tender bites over there. Back to the land, do some more. Hot as well. It's like 30, 30 degrees today. So I gotta shovel all this and put it all in these boxes. Chuck it in the van. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe for more videos.